Hey guys, today in the shop we remove and install a new windshield in my 1970 daily driver. Stay tuned. For this kind of job, these are the tools I like to use. Some basic weed eater line, wire cutters, a small screwdriver flat tip, a Sharpie 13 millimeter wrench, a measuring tape, then a couple sizes of, of masking tape, silicone, some WD-40 and a good utility knife, and then finally a set of uh, interior trim tools. So before I shot this video, I'd already taken the windshield out of the, out of the car. So for the, demo, the uh, demonstration of the removal, I'm going to use the back glass. And they're basically the same for the removal and the installation, same techniques and so on. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you the, the two different kinds of, of seals you can buy. Uh, this one here is a stock original, and it, it comes with this uh, uh, stainless trim. And then the other one is what they call the, the cow look or the California look. It's basically just a flat piece of rubber without, without the trim in there. And you can get either of these at, uh, at West Coast Metric or several of the other uh, bug part places. So before I take this out, I'm going to go ahead and remove the trim off of it. And this is kind of like, just got like a little C shape to it. With the, and, it, and it's kind of sandwiched over the rubber. So we'll start by removing this small piece here that connects the two ends. Just slide this over. Then you can take your trim tool and just start this out like so. And basically just, just pull it out real, real easy though. Because I want to I wanna reuse this on the, the, new, the new piece I'm putting on. Okay, now we're ready to cut the old seal out. What I like to do is I'll just use a, a typical utility knife, and I'll take a little WD-40 and just spray it on either side of the of the blade. That's out, man. What is I'll just I'll take the uh, utility knife. And just get up underneath the, the seal here and, and uh, without scraping it against the glass I'll just go around it and cut it out and some people ask me you know why do you do it this way and I'm basically like you know I don't know it, it's a bad seal it's going in the trash when I'm done so you know what's the difference on how I get it out so we'll just cut it cut it out like this Just like that. And then what I'll do, because this seal has been in here for so long, it's usually uh, stuck to the inside of the, of the seal. So I'll just take my knife around the edge of it and kind of just break that loose. Some people will take a screwdriver and start prying on this. And if it's stuck really good, then it will, uh, you'll end up cracking or breaking the glass with the screwdriver. And 
And this one has rear window defroster. So I got two wires on either side uh, connected to the glass. So I need to I need to go inside and disconnect those. So now I should be able to take my trim tool and just lift this thing out, get a hold of it, and there it is. And we'll just pull off the other half of what's left. And then what I'll do is I'll get in here with a, a, a wet rag and just clean this up real nice uh, before I, I go in with the new seal. So what I like to do first is uh, find the, the center of the windshield. And the reason I do that is because on the rubber, this rubber is, is fused together and right there. And what I like to do is just place that line at the, ver at the bottom center of the, of the windshield. So we'll get the, the width of the windshield. Forty-one and a half. So half of that would be twenty and three quarters. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape here in this right in the center. And then find my center mark. Twenty and three quarters, right there. So there's the center of my windshield. Nice and hot. So uh, what I like to do first is is lay this out in the sun for about thirty minutes to an hour, uh, just to soften it up, make it a little easier to put it on the glass. So let's go inside and put it on the glass. Okay guys, just a quick note on the, on the glass. Uh, it does have a, a shape to it, a, a, or a bow. So just know that the, the bow goes to the outside of the car. And then the same thing with the, the seal. It's got a, a larger flat surface on it that also goes to the, to the outside of the car. So we'll start here in the center where my mark is and just take off in one direction. Corner, I like to just take a, a piece of masking tape and put it on just to hold it in place until I get the whole thing on.
and then once I get it on, I'll just go around and lightly, lightly bump it, just like that, make sure it's on good. Did you see this? Oh, go figure, look at that. Oh, look at that. Better. And now we're ready for the uh, weed eater string to uh, put it in the car. Shazam. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put this weed eater line inside the, the groove of the, of the seal that will fit over the, the pinch weld in the car. And basically what I'll do is I'll just, I'll take a little of the silicone just to uh, loop it up a little bit. And then just run my finger in here like this and spread it out a little bit. And then for the weed eater line, again, we'll start right here in the center and we'll leave a little excess uh, sticking out to one side. Once you get it in there, I'll take a small screwdriver and just go around and press that in there like that. Now, once I've gotten all the way around, uh, we want to leave a little bit of excess on, on either end of it so we can grab a hold of this and pull it once we get it, uh, start putting it in the car. So I'll just cut off about right here. And then I'll just grab a hold of it and kind of pull it, snug it up, make sure it's, it's good and tight inside the groove. Man, that cat is deep. So I've got the window sitting in here, just to show you what I'm gonna do real quick. Uh, this is the, the pinch weld that the seal goes on. The, the other groove will, will go over this pinch weld. And what I'll do is I'll take this weed eater wire and after I spray it with a little bit of lubrication with the silicone, I'll take this and I'll just start to pull that rubber seal up over this pinch weld. And we'll go all the way around the window and uh, what you want is someone on the outside kind of holding the, the glass in place and ju just keeping it centered and keeping a little pressure on it as you're pulling the string out. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. We kind of got it centered there already. So if we just kind of hold it tight right there. Yep. Is that all you got? Let's be
got it in, I'm just going to take the heel of my hand and just kind of bump it in. And you'll, you'll see the, the seal kind of roll itself in. Hey, mister! Take it easy on that machine. You're going to break it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come out here to break this machine. <laughs> So once that's done, the the seal is still kind of rolled underneath on the on the outer edge. So that's where I take my trim tool and just kind of start somewhere and pull that out. Once again, you can just bump on it and further seat that thing into place. Then I like to take my the end of my tool and just kind of bump the seal down like that. go once you feel like it's uh, on the, the pinch well nice and tight and it's all pushed out to the outer edge windshield is installed Hand me that mirror on the top. is not a drill. Did you see this? <laughs> well, 
there it is guys brand new windshield in the 70 daily driver if you got any questions on this uh, just hit me up in the comments I'll try to do this about once a week something that's v-dub related on maintenance repair or restoration so if you're into that go ahead and subscribe uh, also check out my Facebook page in, in Uh, stupid air compressor kicked on. That's a shame. But anyway, as I was saying, check out my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. I've got the links down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Am I in the video this time? Huh? Yeah, turn it off for a second. I mean...